Hey guys, uh, this is my FPS Creator Multiplayer Tutorial. Um, so one thing I do want to suggest before we get in, or not suggest, want to tell you guys, um, there's a new version of FPS, FPS Creator coming out, and it's going to be so much better. Um, here's some of the core features. It's going to be using a new graphics rendering engine that will allow better, mo better high-quality models, better objects and everything. It'll allow for more advanced AI. It'll allow for 1080p graphics, um, a better sound engine. It'll allow for dynamic water that you can swim in. Um, it's going to allow a better multiplayer engine. Overall, it's just going to be a lot better. Throughout this tutorial, I might, I'll might i talk about it a little bit. Just because it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to include new particle system. Um, um, a particle simulator. Which is going to be for fire. Fire and stuff. Um, it's actually going to be able to burn down buildings and objects. And it's just going to be really cool. Uh, one really core thing. That I'm really going to enjoy. And um, sorry if I say this wrong. But this is going to include... NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, how I usually pronounce it, it's going to include NVIDIA Physics. And this is going to be cool because it allows for some really cool particles and stuff. It's also going to include some more character AI scripts, and it's just going to be totally fun. There's one downfall to it, though. It does cost $100, um, at least right now. It is in beta. Um... I will try to get my hands on a copy of this. If I can, I'll definitely do some tutorials, and I'll continue to talk about this throughout this one. Anyway, let's get going. First thing you want to do is do a new arena, and this is just going to open up with all the settings you need to have for multiplayer. As you can see here, it's just going to open up, and what you're going to see is a red thing here. You're going to see some flags and stuff missing. You're going to see that this has a multiplayer check on it. Another thing you'll see is we don't use player starts or player checkpoints. If I try to use this, not used. Um, what you tell, how you set this up now is why I load the prefabs. Uh, let's talk about some of the engine. And right now, uh, the core things right now in this is you are not going to be allowed to use... AI or physics in multiplayer according to their website um, and now to spawn players in a deathmatch mode since that's the only mode available you are going to use um, an entity specifically any character entity so Colin Alex, Conquer, whatever I prefer Colin Alex so we just put two of these guys here our multiplayer map is pretty much ready to go, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and add a new weapon. Um, and this is basically how you're going to set it up. Um, one thing to note is you can only include one arena or multiplayer map in every EXE. They are going to change that in FPS Creator Reloaded, so that's why I'm so excited about it. Anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and play test this game. I'm just going to go ahead and keep this on. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind now is there's going to be high quality models, which means it's going to need more RAM to actually run. This isn't actually a bad thing. So, if you have over 2 gigabytes of RAM or whatever, you should be fine. Another thing it's going to be able to use is it's going to have multi-core optimization and it, it's going to have multi-core. Well, I just actually just said that. Wow, great job, Nathan. Okay. Um, it's going to have, and I do believe it's going to have support for NVIDIA CUDA as well as PhysX. Um, that's going to be fun to look forward to. It's going to I already mentioned the new particle system. Um, it's going to include um, EXE and resource encryption. This is a very nice feature up here for people looking to sell their games, which is allowed. 
what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to, well, first let's actually talk about how this EXE exists. So if you've ever built an EXE before, you'll notice that you can just open up the folder, open up the subfolders in that folder, and you'll see all your MP3 files, your model files, your videos, and whatever. And that's very bad because people can just steal all of that. So what EXE encryption is, is it's going to encrypt all of that data so people can no longer steal it. So believe me, this will be a helpful thing. And one thing I'm hoping for, and I highly, highly doubt they're going to do this, is put an anti-cheat engine in multiplayer. Now this is really not required since nobody's going to actually use this, but I do think it would be fun. Alright, we're in the game. Hopefully you can see. Uh, as you can see, it's um, this is a good example because this is not 1080p graphics. As you can see, the text just looks like crap. Everything on here looks like crap. So I, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to the developers or anything, but it does. So hopefully, anti-aliasing will help this whole annoying process. So I'm just going to choose one with my um, numbers. And one thing to be aware of is it makes a really high-pitched sound. I don't think you could hear it, but it's annoying. So you can pretty much see it's a more regular multiplayer level. Of course, there's no one in here because no one else is there, but... That's about it um and there's this weird thing with like the model imports and stuff which I can't figure out but whatever hopefully FPS creator reloaded will be a better all right guys uh, I'm actually going to, this is just the test. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect to other people. And then I'll get back to you. So, yeah. Um, I shall be right back. Um, thank you for watching. Well, at least this, you're going to be seeing me in just a second. Okay, so I am in the game. Um, as you can see, I opened it up and it says, enter your name. Uh, let's just go. And there you go. And then there's like really no button or anything, so just press enter. And behold, my antivirus. It's awesome. I don't think you ever find a better antivirus. So, one person, if you want to play multiplayer, is going to have to click this button, host game. The other person is going to have to click join game, and then they're going to enter what's... They're going to enter this, but it's going to be on your screen. So, if you're hosting, they're going to do join game, enter this, that's on your screen. And if they're hosting, you're going to join the game and enter the, enter the IP address that's on their screen. And one thing to notice is this is only going to be available on LAN. So your local area network, unless you want to port forward, which do not do. It's a serious security risk, and there's just too many security problems with that. Do not port forward it. Um, that's about it, guys. Have fun. Tune in next.